Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Healthy Fine Dining Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at the Easton Public Market with St. Luke's University Health Network, joining together doctors and chefs to create healthy new menu items to be featured in the restaurants. And joining me in the kitchen today is Chef Lee Chismar of Mr. Lee's Noodle House, along with Dr. Holly Warholic. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Great Thanks having you guys here. Having us here. As always, what are we making today? All right, so today we're going to do a mushroom ramen, uh, which is somewhat vegetarian. It's very healthy. We have some marinated tofu, a poached egg, uh, lots of great local mushrooms. Uh, it should be pretty exciting. Awesome. Let's get started. All right. Well, let's switch places. Okay. Sure. Um, and really, the the two big components of uh, the ramen are noodles and the broth. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing that we're going to start, we're going to go ahead and just turn this on real quick. Um, and we're going to start with our broth. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I have some mushrooms. I'm just going to go ahead and add these in. And then as I'm preparing this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and have you guys clean up some mushrooms. Sure. If you could. All right. So Sounds the good. first thing we're going to do is the shiitakes. Um, the shiitakes have a very woody stem mm -hmm. on them. Uh, and so the way that you clean them is you actually peel the stem out. All right. And one of the things a lot of people will take scissors and just clip the stems off, mm -hmm. but that still leaves this very woody section. Um, so really the best way to do is just kind of peel those away. And when you're done, we're gonna go ahead and just throw the stems right into our broth. Okay, okay? great. Um, and then as you guys are doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead uh, and start with an onion over here. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just gonna julienne this very thin. Uh, because this is a vegetarian broth, um, one of the things usually when we're talking about our meat broths with ramen, you know, it can take up to 48 hours to make a really right. flavorful broth. Uh, but a vegetarian one can be pretty quickly, uh, can be done pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and add my julienne onions. Nice. And why is that? Because you're, you don't have to draw anything out of the Really, bones, I mean, or... as far as the vegetables go, you're going to extract most of the flavor in 15, 20 minutes at a good simmer. It's good um, to know. So we're just kind of sweating this stuff out. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my utensils over here. Um, I'm going to stir this up. I have a leek here. I'm going to go ahead and julienne. Mm -hmm. And you've made pretty quick work out of these. <laughs> so while you're working on that last one, tell me what is your specialty at St. Luke's? So I'm a physician of obstetrics and gynecology at St. Luke's. Mm -hmm. So we deliver babies and we take care of women through all stages of life, from adolescence, through getting pregnant, having babies, and then through menopause. Nice. Now, what is it that sets St. Luke apart from all the other hospitals in the region? So I think that we have a really great setup in our OBGYN practices and that mm -hmm. we're a bunch of small groups. So for instance, I have two other physicians in my practice and the three of us cover all our call on our own. Uh, so during pregnancy, we get you to meet each one of us throughout the nine months of pregnancy so that you have a familiar face when you come in to have your baby. And that's so important because it, being pregnant and going through labor, it's such an overwhelming experience. It's nice to know that you're going to see a familiar face when you come through the door. Absolutely. What kind of advice would you have for first time moms? So there's a lot of information coming at you, especially <laughs> sure. when you're a first time mom. And you know, St. Luke's is well prepared to help make that as easy as possible as we can for mm -hmm. you. Um, we have our baby and me center where we have a lot of prenatal classes that you can take before you even come in to have your baby that will prepare you for the birth of your baby. And then a lot of support systems afterwards that can help you through that as well. That's fantastic. Chef, right. you want me to add these in there? Yep, go ahead, add the stems right there. I can Perfect. move that a little closer to us. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. We're back with more from The Chef's Kitchen. Um, so next I'm going to have you do the maitake mushrooms uh, okay. and it's the same thing, you know, most mushrooms have that woody stem, um, so you can see here, this is, you know, it almost grows like a flower. Hmm. Um, I'm basically going to cut off the stem uh, and then you're just going to go ahead and kind of pick them up from there. Okay. All right, so let me slice this guy off. Uh, this is a royal trumpet mushroom, same thing, stems are a little bit woody. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those off. No, not um, the whole big fat stem, really, just no, the end No, yeah, piece. and you, you can actually feel it as you go. It's tender, oh, totally. and then you get to the bottom, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit more woody. Yep. Next, I have a piece of lemongrass here, too. Um, but one of the things is it's so woody um, that you really want to get the flavor out. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that we'll do is just kind of rough it up. All I'm right. just going to bang it up a little bit, and that helps get the flavor out. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. Great. And kind of the next part of the dish is our soy uh, marinated mushrooms. Okay. Um, so, and that's what all of these mushrooms that we're cleaning up are going to go towards. Nice. Um, so, because my royal trumpets are the biggest, I'm basically just going to cut them in half. And then what I like to do is kind of 
quarter or cut them into sixes. This has a very meaty texture. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add these here. When you're sauteing mushrooms, I want that oil hot just to where it smokes a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna cook them first and then marinate them? Um, well, we're actually gonna do like a pan marination. Okay. Um, so once we have them sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and add GGS, uh, uh, garlic, scallions, ginger. GGS. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, which is kind of the backbone of a lot of uh, Asian-inspired cuisines. It's like the holy trinity of yeah, that's right. <laughs> Asian that's right. cuisine. Just gonna give these guys a little toss. I think next I'm gonna go ahead and add some ginger. The skin of ginger is actually has no flavor. Hmm. So technically, if we wanted to, we could just slice this up and add it right into the okay. stock. But a neat trick um, is you can actually use, it's kind of fun to watch people use a vegetable peeler on this. <laughs> yeah, that's um, what I usually do in struggle. But it's kind of neat if you just take a spoon, you can just kind of scrape down um, and it, it cleans it right up. And you're getting like just the skin and not just really Just the, the skin, flesh. you're not wasting anything. I love um, it. And especially if you're doing GGS, um, you know, it's good to get the peels off for that. Um, right. As opposed to something like a stock or a broth. Mm -hmm. um, so I just went ahead and peeled that and I'm just gonna go ahead um, and do a nice kind of back slice on that. Cool. Now, you're essentially saying that you've you don't have to peel it for what you're making, but no. you're using it yes, for right now. Exactly. You just wanted to show us right. that cool trick. Because it's kind of a neat trick. Um, we have some GGS that we've already cut up. So. Awesome. All right, we're gonna get that in. So do you just make big batches of GGS to have on hand and yes. sort of scoop it yeah. out? Very, yeah, very big, big, big batches. But it's a, we have an example over there. So it is a pretty fine dice there. Mm, yes. Um, so it does, it's one of the things that kind of takes us a good bit of time. Ooh, hundreds too. Um, here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some soy sauce to this. Mm -hmm. All right. And Holly, if you wanted to, you can grab, there's the miso over there. It's all the way behind the deli right there. Um, and if you just want to go ahead and take a spoon, um, and you can probably add about half of that. Is this red miso? Uh, that is white miso. White miso? Yep. Um, and there are lots of different flavors. It is fermented uh, soybean paste. Um, so as you can see, our mushrooms are starting to caramelize a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass over some oyster mushrooms. Uh, and it's the same thing. You're just going to kind of break these up a little bit. These are beautiful. Yeah. Uh, these are from a local farm, Primordia Mushroom Farm, which is really nice. Pennsylvania actually has um, one of, they are one of the top producers of mushrooms in the mm -hmm. country, uh, which is kind of neat. I'll go ahead and take those maitakis, uh, and if I could get the shiitake mushrooms also. Sure. And these just break up, you said? Or yep. You can actually peel them straight down like this. Hmm. And you, then oh. you get the stem right from the top, okay, which is really nice. nice. Um, do you like okay. to cook a lot? I do. Yeah? Yeah. We, when um, you have time, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's better when I meal plan over the weekend. Always, but for sure. But sometimes we get to that and sometimes we don't. <laughs> we try to get the kids involved as well. How fun. All right, we've sweated this out very, very nicely. Mm -hmm. um, you can smell all those flavors. You can smell the lemongrass and the ginger. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and add some water right to this. All right. So I also added my shiitake mushrooms here. Um, and you can see that they're sauteing very nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my maitake mushrooms to it. Um, and I can just kind of keep taking my stems, adding them in here. Mm -hmm. Now this is a dish that's featured on the menu of Mr. Lee's Noodle House, which is located right here in the Eastern Public Market. Tell me about this spot. We usually talk about Bolit, your other restaurant when you're on the show. But... Um, so, you know, it's located down in the front of the Eastern mm -hmm. Public Market. Um, and basically what we've done is we're taking a Japanese-inspired dish as ramen, mm -hmm. and it kind of has the same bones as bolit. Um, we do as much farm-to-table as we can. Mm -hmm. We get in whole pigs, whole chickens. Wow. We make the broths every day, so everything's very fresh. Um, you know, one of the things about the Japanese culture is, you know, it's so perfect, mm -hmm. and they try to perfect everything. Mm -hmm. So there are people that make ramen their entire life, and Never there's a right. really... <laughs> There's a really specific way that they do it. Right. Um, so ours is more, it's based in tradition, but we do a little bit of a flair on different things and, and kind of bring um, what we know, especially with the region, mm -hmm. and we bring that into the dishes. Uh, for example, we have a Dutch ramen that has pastrami uh, and sauerkraut and uh, How can you not love that? marinated kale with a mustard broth. That's so great. Um, so that's kind of the way uh, that we do it. So it really is such a fun menu. Uh, well, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. We're back with more from The Chef's Kitchen. 
So as these are searing up, um, Holly, do you want to go ahead? I think you're good on the mushrooms. Okay. You want to go ahead and add a few of those right to the dish here. Perfect. You're going to know how to make this dish in your sleep. I know. I'm kind of straight <laughs> with mushrooms. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more oil. You can see it's kind of dried up. Um, and what's nice about this is we're actually, we don't really have to use a ton of salt here. Um, we do have the sodium from the soy sauce, but mm -hmm. that's kind of how we're going to marinate all this stuff and bring out the flavors. Okay. Um, another key ingredient that we use is um, sherry vinegar. Uh, a lot of times rice vinegar is what you use, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like the sherry vinegar goes really great with bringing that umami flavor of the mushrooms nice. and the earthiness out. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on these, all of okay. us, so we don't burn them. I got okay. it. All right. <laughs> Here I have some poaching liquid, mm -hmm. uh, and this is going to be our uh, noodles in the back. Okay. Um, one of the other components that we have, this is a pickled onion, okay. um, and that was a red onion that we julienne, and it's literally just um, champagne vinegar and sugar. Nice. Uh, it's two parts vinegar and one part sugar, and you just pour it over and let them marinate. As they marinate, they say purple at first, and then they kind of come down to that pink flavor. I love that color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, over here, we have some marinated tofu, um, which is equal parts soy sauce, rice vinegar, and a mushroom stock. Okay. All right, so those will be our garnishes for the dish. Thanks. Um, so one of the things that we actually forgot to add to the broth is our garlic. Ah, super important. Uh, yeah, which is a, a pretty key component. Yep. Um, so I went ahead and I backsliced some of the garlic here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and add this in. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a little soy sauce to this. And I want to go slow. Whenever you're adding liquid to a saute pan, you want to be careful because you can get a flare up. Uh, once that liquid hits the oil, the smoke point reaches. People love it. Cameras love it. Uh, <laughs> but it does add a lot of uh, burnt or, you know, kind of bitter flavor to it. So we tend not to do it uh, unless, of course, you're like flambeing alcohol or cooking alcohol off. Or <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of keep adding my soy to this. Um, again, I have my little, little cherry vinegar here. Mm -hmm. Just a little uh, bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm going to add, this is sesame oil. I like to do just a touch of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you guys want to pass over our Ooh, GGS you there. smell that soy already. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this. Now, once we add this, we want to be very careful um, because all these little things can burn. I'm going to just give this a toss. The last component here, I always like to add a little bit of thyme. You know, that's not typically something that you would see to this, but with, you know, combining some American flavors and Japanese yeah. flavors, the thyme is really great to wake up the mushrooms nice. and kind of mellow it out a little bit. So Holly, tell me a little bit more about the Baby and Me Center. It's something really exciting that you guys offer. Absolutely. So at the Baby and Me Center, you can take uh, some of our classes, such as preparing for childbirth. Mm -hmm. We have breastfeeding services, which okay. is a huge um, you know, win for the patient. Right. Uh, and then you can take classes before you deliver, which is helpful to prepare you for what to expect with breastfeeding. And mm -hmm. then afterwards, we have lactation consultants that you can meet with who can help you, you know, make sure your baby's getting what he or she needs. That's great. And they have, we have mom and me support groups um, where, you know, you can meet with other moms who are kind of in the same stage with their newborns. And that's really helpful to see that you're not alone and yeah, that definitely. many <laughs> women are having the same struggles with their newborns. Exactly. As well as the joys of it. Right. That's great. That's a really great resource. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just uh, slicing up some scallions, um, and then we're pretty much ready to start uh, doing the noodles. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna poach an egg or two. At Mr. Lee's we use a 60 minute egg, which mm -hmm. we actually cook in a circulator. Uh, but at home, if you don't have a circulator, it's nice to do a poach uh, okay. egg as a garnish. Um, um, and I noticed the noodles that you have over here. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Or do you make them in the house? So we make them and we wow. buy them. Right. Okay. So these ones are actually from Sun Noodle, um, and really uh, the thing about um, a ramen noodle is it has a lot of alkaline in it. That gives it its chew, and that hmm. dates back to the water that they used, well water in Japan, where it was first conceived. Typically, a ramen uh, noodle will have flour, water, uh, an alkaline base, and that's pretty much it. What does the right. alkaline base consist of? It's So one of the ways that you make it, you can actually take um, baking soda, okay. uh, and you cook it in the oven at 350 uh, for 40 minutes, and huh. then that turns it alkaline. You have to be careful with the water mm -hmm. um, when you add the alkaline to it, because you can, if you get it in your eye or something, it can mess up your eyes a little bit. So, wow, this um, is hardcore. <laughs> but the noodles that we make, 
Um, we make them when we can, uh -huh. and it's such a process uh, that you really we go through them so quickly. Um, okay, so next, I'm just going to take a little sherry vinegar. Um, you always want to have um, acidulated water. Mm -hmm. um, that was actually soy sauce, which won't, won't, won't hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> you talk about seasoning your eggs. Um, <laughs> so we're going to bring this up to a simmer. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. We're back with more from The Chef's Kitchen. The last thing we're gonna do is kind of turn this into dashi. Um, so I have kombu, which is seaweed, uh, or kelp. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually turn off the liquid, um, and I'm, this is the last thing that I'm gonna add. You don't wanna boil it too much, or it can kind of turn your broth bitter. Oh, um, okay. And then here, and we talked about vegetarian. This is the one part. These are actually bonito flakes, mm -hmm. um, which is a small fish that they dry, smoke, and then slice uh, super thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these to it. Um, and this kind of brings our mushroom dashi um, together. If you wanted to keep this totally vegetarian, could you, you leave stop, those out and not you sacrifice can stop right flavor? Here. Okay. Yeah, and Great. even with the kombu itself, it really gives that wholesomeness and nice. brightens it up. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna stir this up and then we're ready to go. So our noodles and the eggs are gonna take almost about the same amount of time. So I'm just gonna drop this in here. Um, we have our terray over here. So this is basically your flavor packet for your ramen, is, is what we, <laughs> and at Mr. Lee's we do a lot of different kinds, uh, and this is where we, we take a little liberty and add some different things to it. For this, you can literally take these mushrooms, mince them up, and just add more GGS, some soy, some mm -hmm. miso, um, a little sesame oil, and then that is what gives us this really beautiful. That's what that is. Yeah. Nice. So this is gonna go down in the bottom of the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these in. Um, and this is, I basically have, you know, one portion. As I drop them in there, I wanna take them and just agitate them to get any excess flour off. They cook quickly? These ones take about two minutes. Mm -hmm. um, fresh ones can take as, as quickly as 30 seconds. Wow, wow. Um, so here, I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of tricks when you're poaching an egg. Some people like to spin it, uh, and that helps kind of coagulate your whites. The sherry vinegar will help keep the egg together. Um, so we're just going to drop this guy right in here. Um, I kind of mentioned the tricks. I'm more of a purist of just let it go, let get it go. in there. Okay. Don't touch it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our... Um, Right. This is just the mushroom, the yep, flavor base. Okay. And that's one of the things. As much as you want to add, if you could pass me the oil, um, right there. This one. Yep. So it's good. You want to kind of have the fat at the bottom of the bowl. Hmm. Um, and what that does is, we're going to add our noodles next, and then the fat floats up. That coats the noodles. And so I'm just going to free up our egg here. And that's po poaching nicely. We're just gonna cook it till the whites are set and you can kind of see it's still a little loose. Mm -hmm. So I am just gonna check one of these guys very quickly and probably burn myself really bad. It looks like you're I'm about doing. to, yes. <laughs> All right, so this has, we're cooked and ready to go. So next what we're gonna do is just, we kind of shake it off. Different ram ramen masters have two shakes and then they go or <laughs> wow. three shakes or it's a it's very really specific intense, process. Yeah. Yep. Next, I have a little broth over here um, that we have that I've already strained out. So we're going to come right in here and kind of pour this over. It really does look so rich too. And that's the thing we've seen. There's really no fat. Right. Uh, it's just a little bit of oil. It's very very healthy. Um, we're just going to put some compartments. You know, we like to kind of go around the dish. Uh, and garnish it with different things. Um, I'm gonna jump across you and just grab the mushrooms. Um, and we're gonna come right in here and just kind of work our way around. Nice. Um, next, I'm gonna set this guy right They back smell aside. so good too. Thank you. Um, we'll come in here. We have some tofu. It's the best part of ramen is all like the little toppings. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Accoutrements that go on right. top. It's the best. Um, and then lastly, let's see how our egg is doing. Um, 
All right, I think it's that looking looks pretty, pretty good. That perfect to me. All right. You so, like runny eggs? Runny yes. Eggs? <laughs> so we'll drop this guy right, <laughs> right there. Um, and then there's always an element of pickle. Um, so we're just going to take some of these guys, drop them right there. Nice. Um, I also, crispy is nice. So we have some crispy onions um, that we can go ahead and drop in. These are just some crisp fried shiitakes to garnish with. I have to try one of those. Yep. And then, Holly, if you want, grab a big handful of those scallions right there. And let's. Mm, that much? That's. that's <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> I love just, scallions. I no, no, no. <laughs> that's perfect. Um, but, and that's it. There we it looks go. Looks fantastic. I can't Thank wait you. to try this. Let's get in here. All it right. looks amazing. Wow. You would never even know that's vegetarian. It's so really good. flavorful. Mm. Mm. That's amazing. Can I get into this egg? Mm hmm Yes. Mm. Look at that. It's perfect. Mm. <sighs> Very perfect good. on a cold winter <laughs> night. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna polish off this whole bowl by myself. <laughs> Sorry guys. Well, no, right. Dr. Marholic. Chef Lee, it's always a pleasure to have you on the Thanks show. So it's wonderful having St. Luke's with us. Please, let's do it again. All Absolutely. Right. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having us. Mm.